I get it. There is a lot to look at here. And I'm going to be honest, it took a lot of work, a lot of work to get this going. Coffee already made. Because this video is a gear video, we're outfitting the Steam Deck OLED in the Asus ROG Ally X. And let's just get rid of the elephant in the room. This shirt is incredible. I know it's incredible. I know it's insane. I know that it is so distracting. I understand. Huge shout out to my buddy Rick. It is the most comfortable, like smooth feeling Hawaiian shirt with Death Star, Millennium Falcon, TIE Fighters. I mean, we got it all here. But let's hop into this. When I sold this guy, my original OLED, I sold everything, all the cases, docks, and everything. So when I inevitably repurchased the OLED, I was faced with a dilemma. I'm like, I need protection. Now it ships with a case, but it didn't. I didn't have my Lodi, the thing that I really enjoyed. And here in season two, which is what we're gonna kind of call this, getting the ROG Ally X or the OLED, the deck, Steam Deck OLED outfitted, um, well, we gotta do it. I sold everything, as I said, and so, I was like, I need to buy it again. Let me just try shot in the dark here. And I did. I said, hey, um, Skull & Co, love your stuff. Bought it last time. Uh, can I make a video for you? And you just kind of send me the stuff. And they said, sure. And so they sent me the stuff. And I said, hey, there's some extra things that I would have never purchased. Can I try it out? And they're like, yeah, sure, why not? And they sent me all of this. And so we'll start with the ROG Ally X outfitting that because I have never... I don't know, this is new. And we're gonna go with some of the extra things that they sent me. We're gonna go from necessary to least necessary. But the first thing with the ROG Ally X is, well, it feels good. Now these back buttons are like, remind me of like a third nipple or something. Just, they just seem like they're oddly placed and like almost useless. Almost like, you know, like a, like a mole or a wart. I should have said mole or wart, not third nipple. <laughs> Odd. Okay, so this is not, this is Steam Deck, and this is actually um, the same thing, we'll talk about that in a second, same with these. Now, first thing I would say, and I already did it, so I don't really need to use theirs, but they sent it anyway because I asked, is they have tempered glass screen protectors that are fingerprint resistant, smooth to the touch, shadow resistant, 2.5D curved edge, I, a bunch of stuff here. Two, I have one for the Ally X, ROG Ally, and one for the Steam Deck. 9H hardness, 0.26, ultra thin. If you want, you just do this. And I do have a discount code. Not that I'm promoting this stuff and I want that to be abundantly clear. I'm not sitting here promoting this. We are going over everything that they have to offer, but rather uh, if they're gonna make money, I, shouldn't I get a piece of the pie, right? Also, I, I don't exactly know the percentage because it's been a while, but it's listed below. We'll cover these later. So the first thing we need to do is get this into a grip case. And the Asus ROG Ally X, Skull & Co just recently released their grip case for the ROG Ally X. And so it resembles that of the one that I have. The inside is shiny. Oh, whoa. It's shiny, but has a really bizarre texture. Like a grip, listen. Like it's grippy too in there. Um, but we have the Skull & Co branding on the back. I I hope that the OLED one is the what it, it didn't change because I like the inside of this. Um, their points is easy fit. Oh yeah, cool, so it stands on its own. So like the first thing we do, slip this in and see if I already like the better feel. Yeah, man, that's nice. It, man, it does make this thing seem kind of heavy, but this extra bottom part, because now, it stands on its own. And this is huge. I love the stand on its own ability. Um, you have access to everything here from your two USB-C ports, your micro SD card, your headphone jack, and your power button. Everything is easy. And what's cool is it's flared. And so like, it's really easy to go. Now, I will say now these back buttons seem a little bit more intentional because there's a drop off here. And so that kind of feels better when hitting these back buttons. Now, along with this, we have the screen protector already on. We have the grip case on. Next, we'll go we'll get the OLED one out later, is gonna be actually getting this into a case. So for the ROG Ally X, 
Admittedly, the first time I went around the case ordeal, I wasn't a huge fan of Skull & Coast cases. In fact, I used one of their competitors and I much preferred that. Oh man, that latte is good. Today, I'm giving them a second chance, not because I have to, but because they've redesigned the internals of the cases so it should fit the Steam Deck, which I'm more um, concerned about. Now, I did get camo because I'm a silly goose and I like camo things. And so we have the camo here. Um, of course, all of this extra stuff. Can I just rip this and it just pops? Yep, we're good. That's there. Um, yeah, so this little hand bag thing, this doesn't seem like you can take it off easily. Or can you? No, you can unhook it, but you're gonna have this as your little handle if that's something you're into. If not, cut it. <laughs> I don't love these types of handles, but you know, whatever. So what you have here is you have a little inside here. You can, it's like a, you can separate it, push down, pull this out. And in doing so, you can turn it into a lanyard if you like to carry it around this way, which I don't know why you would. Not terrible. I am gonna do a test that I'm going to regret if it doesn't work properly. We see that Skull & Co. has their branding right here. How easy is it to rip off the Skull & Co.? We're just gonna go for the C, I mean for the O. Yeah, pretty easy. And we have Skull & CC. <laughs> so it's just a sticker. I ruin my gear so that you don't have to. Um, I don't love that. I will end up taking a razor blade and just scraping all this off so there's no more this because that's just gonna come off easily. Um, but yeah, so let's open this up and let's see the moment of truth. Oh, cool, it comes with a little rag, nice. It is soft, very soft inside. This, uh, I suppose, is supposed to be here to keep these are always ambiguous in their design. We have little indents here. We put this in the case. We rock this down like so. Is it supposed to be like this? Are we supposed to go like this? I accidentally turned it on. And then have this like this? Because if that's the case, that's not terrible. That's actually pretty good. And then we have this. Okay, let's make sure this isn't on. It is on. Well, whatever. For, for all intents and purposes, we're just going to do this. And we are... You have to push pretty hard. So that's that's actually pretty nice. This is a good, solid little, uh, I, you know, I'm not mad at this. This is a nice little design. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some additional things to it to upgrade the Asus ROG Ally X even more. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn off my Asus ROG Ally X because I don't need to log in right now. No, please just turn off. There we go. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put onto the thumbsticks the risers. Now, fun fact, if you have an Asus ROG Ally X and a Steam Deck, you make odd financial decisions. That's the first fun fact. Two though, two, is you only need one of these unless you want exactly the same thing for both, okay? These are the thumbstick risers slash grip, extra grips. If you want the exact same ones for both your ROG Ally X and your Steam Deck, you're gonna have to get two sets. But if you can manage with using one of, you know, the PlayStation style one on one and the Xbox style one on the other, then you'll be fine. Okay. So I personally like the Xbox style one less. I like the PlayStation style ones more. So I'm going to put the Xbox style ones with the skull facing down, orienting properly onto this. And we'll have one thumbstick. Gotta rotate. It's not fully on. We missed it, so we'll try it again. Push down, on. Now it's fully on. Good, we have one on, and we'll do the same with the other. So you just kind of peel back a little bit, place, and then slap. Now I've taken these on and off multiple times. So at this point, that feels really good. And I will say that the rings on the ROG Ally X feel better than the rings on the Steam Deck. The rings on the Steam Deck don't quite feel as good. Man, that's smooth. 
And then what we can do is we can add the extra thing. So this is the first unnecessary. Let's go a step further. Let's get really unnecessary. Does that sound good? Because I'm gonna go super unnecessary for the ROG Ally X, and we're gonna add something onto the little um, back things. We have two ergonomic designs. So these are, <laughs> that sounded weird, these are back button risers. So essentially what we have here, ooh, they're stickers. I don't love that, but Oh, they're hard. Interesting. So we have one for M1. So this would go right on this one. And we have this kind of really interesting back. And then what's the other one? That's for two. What's the, there's two versions of this. Oh, so it's, it's reverse. So it depends on how you want it. So you can either have it to where the riser is facing back or the riser is facing forward. That is an interesting problem. If you have the riser on, oh no, it does clear it. It just clears it. So if you have the riser on, if you want that extra bump, that's a that's a bizarre feeling. I don't know if I want to install these. I'm gonna I'm gonna install at least. Oh, okay, I'll do I'll do one set. Well, so this is on the M1. I don't see why I'd want to have the angle to be the opposite way. I don't know if I would stick that. That's such a huge difference. It's a, it's an interesting proposition, a very, very interesting proposition. If you want to have risers on the back of your actual thing. So if I was to match it, it'd be like this. And then the other way, is this an M2? Yes, M2 would be to do it this way. Oh yeah, I'll do the reverse. The reverse is better. So, okay. That, that's weird. And then taking it off is not as easy. I don't love how much that you have to really pull. Take off the sticky, get rid of the sticky. So that is our extra button risers. I can tell you right now, um, on the ROG Ally, probably not necessary. Probably not necessary. Um, uh, interesting if you're someone, so that's the thing is I don't think the back buttons really get this much attention on purpose. Like what people use back buttons, I'm sure, but like adding additional risers on the back, not really necessary. I much prefer this way. Yeah, so ROG Ally has been completely decked out. <laughs> it's funny. And this case is very nice. They have a little extra case here some SD card slots, it seems. Another bigger thing here if you want. I wouldn't put anything in here except for maybe this cloth. Um, anything else would cause additional pressure. And then shake test, no movement. Pressure test requires a significant amount of pressure for this to actually actuate. Yeah, it's, it's quite a bit. So from here, we're good. Asus ROG Ally X has been decked out back button risers are going to be a hard pass for me. Who knows what the back button ones are gonna be for the deck. Now let's go to the deck, okay? And of course, the deck itself, we've been here. We're familiar with our, our decks. We get it, we know. So as a brief intermission before we get to the deck, I want to talk about what I have here. I have two controllers and they have controller cases. And so for me, I was like, well, if we're gonna go full portable, controller cases kind of are a big deal because controllers are the way that we play our games. And if for some reason you want to have a controller on the go, you wanna protect your controller, especially if you got the limited 30th, uh, 30th anniversary limited edition dual sense controller, not the dual sense edge, you might want to put it into a case when you're traveling. And so this, these guys have two versions of the controller case. They have a, PlayStation 5 one, and then an everything else one, which I'm very curious as to the difference between the PlayStation 5 one and the everything else one. So far, it looks like they're exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, it looks almost exact. I don't know what the difference might be, but let's go ahead and open this, open that. We have the everything else right here 
we have the PlayStation 5 right here and I see. Okay, so the PlayStation 5 has some additional added risers in there. So if I put, okay, that's actually kind of cool. So if you put this in here, it's gonna fit. There's some actual little spots for that. And what's interesting, I don't know if I love this, but it is what it is. You have these little pieces here, which you can wrap around and give your controller basically like cute little underwear. And so you give them a cute little underwear like so on one side, and then you give your controller cute little underwear on the other side like so. And then you should be able to, once you place this, so I will place the tight part where it fastens, you just place it right in there like so. And so now you have little Velcro straps. And so if you wanna take your controller out, you have made makeshift spots for you to slide the controller into its little underwear. And now you have a more secure thing. Of course, you know, a little spot here for stuff. And then you have yourself your case with your cute little lanyard too. This is gonna be a lanyard only. It's not gonna be an additional thing for like a handle. So there is your, takes quite a bit of pressure. There is your case for your controller, which I like if I'm gonna be out and about and I'm gonna be using my control, I'm gonna want my controller with me for some reason. That's a great little travel case for my controller. And the same thing is gonna go for the other controller case, except this case doesn't have any sort of additional thing in here. And so what this is gonna be more for is just anything that you have. There is gonna be a little bit of rock around. I chose this controller because this is my Steam Deck controller I use on the go. Um, and so I'll give I'll give it the cute little uh, the cute little undies to see if the undies keep it from jostling about. I think the best way to go about making it so that you don't have it move like crazy is going to probably be pushing this as far up to the front as possible and then having this come down. Except now it doesn't quite reach. And so if I like make the little undie spot for it, I can like put this in here. No, that's not gonna work. Okay, so the everything else one, honestly, is going to be mainly for Xbox style controllers. This uh, this one doesn't quite work as easily. You can just put it in there and then it's, I don't know if that's better than being in your bag itself. So yeah, you got your thing and moves around. It's fine. I would say for PlayStation, it's clutch. Because PlayStation, not moving. This one, <laughs> hard case, in the case, it's protected, boy. Okay, so secondary case, um, the anything case, is more just like, it's, it's just uh, a box. A box for your controller, and it's going to move around a little bit. Okay, just, just know that that's, that's the case. Okay, now that that brief intermission has taken place and I've covered that, let's get to the let's get to the star of the show, the Steam Deck. So with the Steam Deck itself, we have, of course, the original, the tan, wonderful Deck Daddy case. This is the Glock Lodi, and it has cool little design on the inside. You have like Pac-Man, Invaders question block. So we're gonna do the thing and get this guy looking right. Uh, did it backwards, slide it down and then up. And now, oh, he's back. Oh, it's back. Now, a thing about this that was originally the problem that I dealt with the first time. And before we fully do it, I have their zip case. I'm going to put the risers on this. So I do like the thumbstick risers on this one and we are going to be doing the opposite of what we did on the actual ROG Ally X, is we're gonna put the fat ones, which are more resembling that of a PlayStation controller. I just love that feel, missed it. What's nice about these is they're very elastic, and so stretching them out to put them on, you don't really have to worry about tearing or ripping them as much. I would obviously, I mean, honestly, you wanna be somewhat kind to your things, not be, you know, intentionally stretching it out and trying to rip it, but they do have a decent amount of stretch to them, so you should be fine as long as you treat it with some intention. Cool. I got mine 
on here. Yep, fully, yep, cool. Oh yeah, already better. Now again, remember, I already told you, man, I wish that the inner circles felt like the Rog Ally. Rog Ally feels better. I already told you there's a um, screen protector on this, so you guys are good, or I'm good, so, you're, you know. If you want to get a screen protector, highly recommend. Um, their screen protector seems good enough. I feel like all screen protectors are pretty much the same. Here's the moment of truth. Their case last time had an issue. The issue was the internal compartment has that flap. That flap has a pressure point. The pressure point accidentally tapped this. Oh, it's recessed now. Oh no, that's still easy to turn that on. Oh no. Okay, so this button is really, you just tap it and it turns it on. So what we're gonna do is we're going to drop it in here. And so what you can see is they actually have cut away the side to mitigate that problem. And we're gonna look right here. Is it going to, it doesn't look like it does. If I put this in here properly and I fasten it down, will I, no, no, we're good. We're solid, bro. Now, the amount of pressure it takes to push down on this is less than the one for the actual um, Ally X, I will say that. This takes less pressure. Whether that's make or break for you, that's up to you. I do have risers on this. I would have liked maybe a little bit more of a cutaway here for that. That is what it is. The competitor I was using has a very large cutaway, which is visible when you have it closed. It's gonna be, you know, five to six pounds of force. Yeah, okay, well, there you go. So those are the two there. Now on the Steam Deck itself, they also have the back button things, the little back, ooh, I do like this case more. That is a snug fit. So if we're to do, if we're to showcase, they also have the back button stickers. This is a tough sell for me, um, primarily because of how many little stickies we have here, but let's go ahead and take a look. Are they hard? They are indeed hard. This is for L5, which is going to be right here. And it adds a little extra height to it. I'm gonna just put one on. And we're gonna see right out off rip, how do I feel about just having one of these risers on? Because this in and of itself is, a, again, it's a really, really odd thing to add to the deck, but, but it may enhance the experience. I, again, not a back button user. I think that these look kind of cool, so I'm not opposed to having them installed. We wanna make sure that the right one's installed on the right, so this is gonna be L5. So we're going to make sure it's centered to a certain degree. And that needs to be pushed in a little bit more. Now we have a feel. That's more comfortable. That's for sure. That like gives it a full grip. That's real. Okay. Okay. At this point, I'm installing all four of them and I'm going to let you know because that that is way more that okay okay let's do this relatively quick here i was not expecting that i was not expecting that at all let's go ahead and check it out all right all of it installed honestly it gives you a place to rest your fingers that feels really nice the real question now is with all of the gear added to it Click. Okay, okay, for the Steam Deck, I would say that those back, those back additional trigger pads, and they ship you with a bunch of extra little strips, those back trigger pads, that's, that's actually kind of nice. That is actually super nice, and it's a clean look too. I was not expecting that. It gives you actually something to pull if you're going to. It makes those buttons very usable. 
that really, I like that a lot. So that's the Lodi, guys. That is going to be the actual full Lodi. I'm, I'm glad they fixed the deck case because I like it more than the competitor I was using. I hope that this was somewhat useful to you guys. If Again, if you're looking to buy any of these, you can use my discount code down there. I know JD. Or you can just purchase it on Amazon or from them, however you want to go about it. This is this is actually pretty tight. I like I really I really do enjoy this. And for the other one, like that is dang, that's super cool. <laughs> I'm I'm into it. If you want to see me play any of these things on stream live, I'm on Twitch, JDX Coffee, uh, most weekdays, weekday evenings really. And um, as always, play more and be kind.